Welcome to the weekend market review for the week ending on the 18th November 2022. The disclaimer, I'm not a SEBI registered analyst or an advisor. However, whatever information presented in this video is purely for educational purpose and not a recommendation to buy or sell. In this video, we will be looking at the different indices and also the sectoral performances. Let's look at the Nifty. In our last week's review, we saw that there was a euphoric up move and we concluded because of the small spread on a very high volume, did uh, move itself was a little bit suspect and then the euphoric move would not continue and the market would or the index would find its more realistic level. As expected, the week started with weakness. As you can see, we have a small spread bar on high volume indicating weakness here. It's a down bar. And as the week proceeded, the volumes also dropped and the the last acceptable level for the Nifty was 18,350 and whatever level above which was rejected and then it came back below this level. And there was not much demand as you can see here. We all had the narrow spread bars, but at the same time, you can also see that the supply was also not overwhelming. But overall, if you can see that the supply did have a little upper hand compared to the demand. Now, if you look at the overall market uh, volumes, this is the overall market volumes here, the buy volume and the sell volume and the total overall market volume here. The volume was below average here and we could not see much of uh, buying or dominant kind of buying or uh, selling here. So there was sort of indecisiveness in the market, but the overall up move was getting weak and tired. It was getting exhausted, you can see. And if you look at the wave chart, you can see here the up waves have dwindled. And then in the last leg, you can see there was total indecision here. Neither the up wave or the down wave dominated here. And it was a lackluster kind of week. So the overall up move is getting ex exhausted. And uh, the last acceptable level, 18,350, was 350, and then the Nifty closed below that here. Now, uh, because of this overall, there is a weakness, we can expect uh, the Nifty to move down a little in the coming uh, week. And it's quite possible that we would test the previous rejection zone between 1896 and 17936. This is the previous rejection zone. And it's quite possible we test it before any uh, demand comes in to take it up here. But as of now, there is nothing uh, in the future events which would really give the impetus to move the prices up further here and this overall weakness would push the nifty down to this uh, to test the previous rejection zone let us also look at the chart of nse 500 which represents the broader market here the NSE 500 approached the previous rejection zone at 15.725 to 15.577, but it could not cross the rejection zone and it was pushed down below the rejection zone 
and if you look at the last three days it has been moving down on above average volumes so it definitely projects uh, weakness here the nse find it is showing weakness now if you look at the mid cap the mid cap chart also shows weakness here you can see the last eight sessions uh, have been weak it has been going down and initially you can see much increased volume and even like the last session last day also we saw increased volume going down so it could test this support zone of 3524 and 3346 and here also this could not even go into the previous rejection zone it came down the weakness came much before that itself and let us now finally look at the nse small cap 100 this one never even approached the previous rejection zone here it was weak it was moving more of sideways here and uh, now it could test the support zone below at 99613 and 9438 so here again showing weakness if you look at the nse 500 mid cap small cap all are showing weakness so our assumption or our thinking that uh, the nifty may test the previous support zone gets more credibility when you look at the weakness in the other indices let's look at the performance of the various sectors first let's have an overview of how various sectors performed in the last one year as you can see here the banking sector has been doing badly till july and it starts improving now it is a leading sector similarly auto was doing badly it has improved now it has sort of sta become stagnant here. The energy sector was doing good almost for the entire year, but now it is weakening now. As you can see from the chart, it has been weakening. It is coming down now. Consumption has been doing badly. It is very slow in growth and now it is improving now it has come into the positive territory the financial services was doing badly for most part of the year now it is improving and now it is becoming leading it has just started to perform well now we could expect it to move further into green zone the fmcg also was doing badly for the first half of the year and is doing well now it's quite well it is again started sort of stagnating here the infra is now was doing well but now it is weakening as you can see from the chart here it has been weakening here media was doing well now it has gone into the red territory the metal was doing a flip-flop leading weakening weakening leading now of course it has gone into the negative territory now the MNCs were doing badly, now they are improving and they are increasing slowly. And the growth is slow here as you can see. The reality sector is doing badly here as you can see it is already in the negative territory. Now it is sort of stagnating here as you can see from the chart the it sector was doing well till may now it has gone into deep red now it again it is stagnating at the bottom we could see some improvement on this the service sector again has been doing badly for most of the year now 
we can see the improving slowly it is improving now we can see more improvements in the service sector this is a birds overview of how the perform the various uh, sectors have been performing over the year now let us go a little deeper into the weekly charts and see how it has been doing for the last one quarter now we are looking into the weekly time frames we are looking at uh, the last 12 weeks or it's a quarter so we saw that banking has been doing good for the last 3 months it is reflected here as well it is uh, a leading sector for the last uh, 3 months here actually and the auto sector has become slightly weak it was not too much into red but it is a weak it is a weak sector now consumption is also slowly becoming weak you can see we saw that uh, the financial services was improving and that improvement is shown here here of course it was good and then came down it's again is going up again it was weakening a few weeks back and now it is again gaining strength um, fmcg is doing a flip flop here in the weekly time frames and the infra is uh, again it, it was not a steady sector it is flip flop and now currently it is just above the uh, red zone now it is slightly into the green zone media we saw it was lagging sector for briefly for some weeks it uh, did well but again it has gone bad metal we saw that it was weakening in the in the higher time frame we saw it was weakening but as you can see it is still on the positive side but it is still very weak uh, there's no much strength here on this sector performance the mncs were bad and then now they are improving here the pharma as now for the last 3 4 weeks it has started improving it has gone into the green territory but again uh, it does not have enough strength now it is again slightly in the last week it went down the uh, reality sector of course it was a lagging sector and it has seen some improvement in the last 2 weeks the service sector again has seen some improvement in the last 3 weeks this is how uh, the sectors performed in the in the weekly time frames now let's go to the daily time frames and see how the last two weeks the uh, sectors performed finally we come to the daily time frame so where we can see that uh, we have the data for the last two weeks and the, the previous week the banking sector was, did not do very well because it did not do very badly but it was on the negative side but the uh, last week of course it is improved and it is still improving here as you can see from the chart the auto sector uh, was, did not do well last week and also the energy consumption all this did not do well the financial services of course is doing well did well last week and the metals did uh, do well for the last two weeks here the pharma is did not do well and in fact uh, from the previous week itself it has been de deteriorating it has gone down and it is sort of stagnating now and it could improve in the next week and the service sector of course has done well last week and in the it sector has been doing well in the, the last week actually so if you look at the overall the banking sector has been strong in all the three time frames and the uh, financial services again has been strong in the three time frames and the service sector has been doing well in the three time uh, time frames and these are expected to continue to do well here 
so one should concentrate on these uh, three sectors basically banking financial services uh, and service sector even it on a weekly basis did well and it's also doing on daily basis doing well so it could uh, continue to do well uh, metals could continue to do well uh, it is improving now from it was doing badly in the um, uh, mon uh, monthly time frames now but weekly and daily time frames it uh, could see some improvements here so basically the sectors which we can concentrate in the coming weeks are banking uh, financial services metal uh, service sector and it these are the sectors one should concentrate in the coming times and the in the near future with this we come to the end of the uh, sectoral analysis because this week i will be uh, not posting the stocks uh, in this video maybe if i come across some good uh, uh, charts i will post them separately uh, with this we come to the end of this video i hope uh, you found this uh, video useful thank you thank you